Amory Piron in the start hut, fastest in the steep and the technical section. Take note of that because he crashed quite up the top somewhere as well, so he recovered. And even with a brake lever low, still went quickest in those sections. Are we in for some Piron magic again here today? Oh, we are oh, going to look the at the attack there. The energy is there, and this is the attack, not only for today's wow. win, but wow, two wheel drift. On the edge, as ever, Amory Piron, then the defending champion. Lost out the World Championship last week. He's going to want a title this year. He's going to bend those rules or those physical laws or whatever you call them in English as far as possible. Two seconds nearly then. It's massive again. Pierre on another level. Pierre on, on another pace here. Oh my goodness. The man who can turn it on. And remember, if he wins today, Bruni needs a top three finish. So Piron has to throw everything at this, and he is so fast down there. This is unbelievable from the inspired Frenchman wow. yet again. Tight line there. Those brakes are a lot more open than any other brakes we've seen today. Look at the key section. He is fastest through there. By over a second from his brother Baptiste. No mistakes so far. Oh, 3.6 seconds up. Well, Piron is laying down another one. <laughs> my goodness, look how fast he's going. He's flying. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gets Woo. deep in there. That was almost a shocker right there. That cost him some speed right there. Only a few more rocks to oh go. Oh, my Ooh. God. How is he even controlling that bike at bike at those speeds over those rocks? He's not controlling it. <laughs> <laughs> so the next flag, what's he done? Oh. 3.9, nearly 3.4 seconds up. He did stop pedaling there for a split second. Oh, my goodness. Well, Piron, like Bruni, manages to rise for the big day. That is Fastest. all out. Fast rider over the 57K mark. Then he's going to carry that speed all down to the bottom. It is a massive run from the defending World Cup champion. He is going to go fastest. Piron over five seconds into the green. <laughs> He has to. The reigning world and champion, now. a man who has won four of the five total world last world championships. He needs a top four finish to, to guarantee himself that overall World Cup title with Danny Hart left at the top. And Piron in the number one seat then. The world champion on track then, this is it. This is the battle for the overall. Wow. It comes down to this run and this man, Louis Bruni. Two-wheel drift already in the very first turn. That shows oh. you business is on. He is attacking. He's got to. Never won the overall. Second, actually, back in 2015. His first full season in three years. Oh, Ooh, late into that slightly rut. offline there. Is that going to be good enough? Late into that rap. Got set up and run a little bit wide on the exit as well. Didn't lose much time. Ooh, Point three, point seven three. back. Nothing then. 0.3, and we know Amory Piron had that little mistake further down, losing his pedal. Says he's tired, physically and emotionally. It's the end of a long, hard year. He needs to pick himself up for this one, and he is so far. Well, I can much almost in not touch. sit. Oh. oh, perfect through there. That absolutely. was as fast as it gets. That was as fast as it gets. Hit that turn absolutely perfectly. No loss of momentum there whatsoever for Super Bruni. Oh, hooking it around there. Loses 1.3 in that wild key section, though. And the, next split, and the next split will reflect it. Ouch. 1.5 back now. Ouch. And it's Minar. 1.7 back in third at the moment. So. No. Oh, Bruni. Bits of rock flying. He is letting it all what hang out that? Oh, my goodness. I think he must be almost on a flat tire there. He hit that rock so hard. Gritting his teeth at the bottom, Amory Piron. Will he defend his title? Here comes Bruni. What's this split going to tell us? He's back. He's back by 1.1. But he is in the top three at the moment. But ideally, he's going to need a top two finish with Danny Hart still left at the top of the mountain. The fastest qualifier. Another man searching for a win in 2019. Here comes Louis Bruni then. Is he sprinting towards his first overall World Cup title? He goes into third place. Ooh. So it comes down to Danny Hart. It comes now. down to Danny. I can't believe it. Oh, oh 1.4 no. pack. <laughs>
There's one man that can make look, and Bruni knows it. Look, look at his face. <laughs> he knows it was not a perfect run. Ten times for the world. Ten times for the world champion. Those eyes say it all, dude. Look at him looking back up that track. A season that has come down to that one run. And now it comes down to this man's second time he's been the fastest qualifier this year. Didn't make it stick in Lenza Heider, but Danny Hart. I shared a chair lift with him earlier in the week, and he's just annoyed that he cannot find that little bit that he needs to take a win. Can he do it today? Can he end Bruni's dream of his first overall World Cup win? Fast at the top, tucking. Oh, Hart's going to lay it all out there on this one. Well, none of the runs we've seen was Whoa. perfect. A lot of them had mistakes, so he is allowed to do mistakes, Danny Hart is. Bruni not taking his goggles off. Oh, within a second then, which is enough to stop Bruni taking it. Two times a world champion, this man. The winner of three World Cups in his career. Oh! And if Danny Hart puts himself in between the two, oh. then that would mean that Amory takes the win. Super fast down there as well. No mistakes from Hart so far. But this is perhaps where it gets more and more crucial. Loses 0.3 only. Nearly 0.4 through that wild key section. Zero point within nine. a second, he is within a second. And Bruni must be feeling the pressure of the bottom because if he stays on this pace, the World Cup overall title is going to go back to Amory Piron. Oh, Hart looking fast here. The UK national champion. Critical piece of track. Clean through there. <laughs> he can't think, look at it. He cannot look at it. And I think Bruni knows what's about to happen. So. Oh, he what? goes fastest! What? Where has Danny Hart found nearly two seconds? And that would again mean that Lloyd Bruni takes the overall. It's 54 kilometers an hour through the speed trap then. Is Danny Hart going to take his first World Cup win of 2019? Coming down to the line. It Here looks comes like Danny it. Hart. Look at the time! 0.7 of a second! No way! Danny Hart takes the win! <laughs> and Bruni takes Bruni the overall! Took it. Bruni is your world champion, your overall World Cup winner for 2019! He's done the double! More history for Louis Bruni, you've got to feel for Henry <laughs> Piron! And Danny Hart, of course, today, in all this excitement, takes his first World Cup winner 2019, but look at the scenes here. Bruni, the World Cup winner for the first time in his career. And the emotion pouring out Louis Bruni. What an amount of pressure was on him right there.